Hi everyone, Father Lamb here. Today is Wednesday, April 6th. And I um, just wanna mention this week, we're having our parish mission, as many of you know. Father Larry Richards is with us. We're very lucky to have him. Uh, Monday night, he spoke to us about God's love for us. It was a very beautiful night for everyone. And then last night, he uh, explained the mass a little bit more deeply and we had, had that celebrated mass together. Uh, tonight, he'll be giving a very powerful talk on the passion and then we'll have uh, confessions available afterward for anyone who would like to go to confession. And then tomorrow night, the last night, is a night of healing where each person present will have an opportunity to be anointed and, and, uh, and to be healed. Uh, prayers uh, prayed over each one of us. So come on out if you haven't had a chance, 6.30 every night, and it's really been a wonderful experience. I'm very grateful to Father Richards for having come here. So today uh, in the gospel readings, it really jumped out at me. I'd just like to share a couple lines from Jesus. In today's gospel from John chapter 8. Uh, Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. We often hear that. People say, well, the truth will set you free. Well, I have a friend of mine who years ago told me, yeah, the truth will set you free, but first it'll make you miserable as heck. <laughs> And sometimes we see the truth of our lives, especially our sins, our imperfections, you know, all those things we don't like about ourselves, sometimes that can really depress us. So how can the truth set us free, you know? Because the truth is, God accepts us just as we are. Sinful, broken, petty, all of our character defects and imperfections, that's how he loves us and where he loves us. When God created you and created me, he knew every sin we were gonna commit. You know, God now, as long as we've all gone to confession and said we're sorry, he forgives us of all the sins of our past. And he knows all the sins of our past. And he also knows the sins we're going to commit in the future. But he still loves us. And that's the good news. And that's the freedom. Like the truth sets you free knowing that God loves us. You know, a lot of times when you and I go to prayer, we get too preoccupied. We go to prayer and we might go, oh God, I... I'm this, I'm this way, I'm imperfect, I'm sinful, and we're focusing on ourselves. We need to turn that around. When we go to prayer, we need to focus on God and his love for us. When you and I experience the Jesus going through his crucifixion, we should experience love, that that's how much he has loved us. And we're entering into the holiest week of our year, and that's why it's important for us to get a deeper sense of this. So here's a question. Let's ask ourselves, Am I still trying to earn heaven? Am I still trying to earn God's love? You can't do it. Let it go. It's already there. God wants to have, have this love relationship with us. He wants to have us come into heaven. All we have to do is follow him. Father Larry gave a really uh, beautiful description, a picture image. I love picture images. And he gave a beautiful image of prayer. And uh, the image he told was when he went home on his day off, you know, left the rectory, went home to see his sister and his little niece. His little niece come running up to him. Larry, Uncle Larry, Uncle Larry. And she'd give him a big hug and he would just kind of hold her. And she would kind of go like, ah. And then Father Larry said, that's prayer. And that's what prayer is. Allowing ourselves to be hugged and loved by God. To come before God in our imperfections, and that's okay, because it's precisely our sinfulness that connects us to God, because that's why he died for us. So as we enter into the holiest week of our, our year, maybe what we need to bring before God is our true selves. The truth will set you free. Here I am, Lord, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And he just wants to come over and give us a hug. And really, Psalm 46 really is beautiful at this time. You remember the psalm, be still and know that I am God. As we enter into this very holy week before us, come to the services because that's the way we experience God's love, through the rituals. And just hear God say to you, I love you abundantly. Be still and know that he is God and he wants a relationship with us. That's the good news of salvation. This week, let God love you. God bless you.